Workers. Um, when we started the Great Council Festival in 2005, um, it, it, the idea was to create a physical space, a big screen space for the for Barbadian cinema. I think it's what Derek, Derek Murray has said, and I, I, I use it often, I quote it often, it created a psychological breakthrough that a Barbadian could put a film on a big screen. And I think from there we have seen it grow. I mean, in, in 2007 there were seven Barbadian films at, at the British Film Festival. So we moved from an, an, a space where there was very little cinema happening, and, and I don't want to say there was no cinema, because that would be incorrect. But there, there's always been attempts and, and efforts and, and people making work. But the idea of centralizing this process and, and, and collating it and then giving it a name and, and prioritizing it is something that the festival did. Um, and we had some feature films in 2007. And I, speak, I think that speaks volumes. That say five years ago, ten years ago, nobody was making films. So in the way, the Bridgetown Film Festival has become in a, in a similar way like what Cropover is to music, to musicians and Barbadian music. It has become a point where people make films to be shown at the festival. But what we want to do now is, is evolve it a little bit more and take it to another level where we want to take the festival and make it a year-round event as well. And we want to take it to community centers and open spaces where we can show the best of the, the years, the best of the, best of the uh, film festival, and take that program and take it around Barbados and show it free, possibly, or a very small fee, to start the idea of distribution. Because it, the thing is, that if you make your film and you cannot sell it, you cannot sell it to, to, to theaters or theatrical releases and so on, it makes no sense, really. You can do it for a number of years, you can make films with a hobby or a passion, but at some time it has to move into a sustainable industry.